Uh oh, big dust up between the two two major league wrestlers, Ilhan Omar from Minnesota and Donald J. Trump from the White House, battling it out on on who's the bigger racist, who's the bigger Islamophobe, who isn't the Islamophobe, who said what, who said who. Right? So they're battling it out, right? And um, who's right and who's wrong? We'll take a look at all of the evidence and we'll find out. So let's start with. The initial comment by Ilhan Omar, the good congresswoman from Minnesota, and this is what she said. Raise hell. Make people uncomfortable. I'm just going to break it down. Raise hell, make people uncomfortable. She gets a round of applause at a some kind of Muslim gathering. Okay, raise hell. American citizens can do that. First Amendment rights. No crime. No, no nothing so far. Good. We ins- inspiring, actually. Because here's the truth, here's the truth. Far too long we have lived with the discomfort of being a second class citizen. And frankly, I'm tired of it and every single Muslim in this country should be tired of it. All right, so she's, she describes the immigrant experience, right? This is the truth, it's, it's, it's her truth. It's not really the truth because the immigrant experience in America when you come to a place that you're not from and you ask for entry into that place, like, you can, can I, may I come into your nightclub, right? You have to be somewhat humble. I'm sick and tired of this. I'm not, you want full citizenship. You want full respect, but you haven't earned it yet. Right? So there is the, the ignorance of the immigrant experience demanding your rights. Are they, are they, do they have a right to do it? Does someone in Ilhan Omar's righteousness is our righteousness justified it is because again that's the, that's the nature of the country but we don't have to tolerate it as an american born a native american i don't have to tolerate that shit so she's she that's her truth is it is it um is it anything that that uh is there any foul in saying that no so let's let's start it again i don't want to chop it up too much Raise i want hell. you to hear the whole thing make people uncomfortable Because here's the truth, here's the truth. Far too long we have lived with the discomfort of being a second class citizen. And frankly, I'm tired of it and every single Muslim in this country should be tired of it. CARE was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. So that was the big comment right there. Somebody did something, but they cut it off right there. But you hear the full sentence. She says, and, and everybody was losing their civil liberties. Now, that is, that's Islamophobia, right? The, you point the finger at the, the guys who did it, and then you blame everybody by association for that crime. That's like, it's the same thing that's going on with white people. All white people were today uh, because because maybe their great, 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 great grandparents had slaves. Maybe most of us are from European descent. None of them had slaves, right? But by, by, by default, all white people are slave owners and, and whip crackers, right? See, it's the same. It's the same thing to say that, right? And, and you feel that, you feel that, uh, that uh, discrimination against you if you're white and you feel that, right? Well, these these folks are 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 experiencing the same sort of thing. Is what I'm trying to say. So so I, I didn't ma- I didn't make the point. <laughs> so 9/11, right? That's the big flashpoint, right? Some people did some things, right? Right? That's all she's saying is that, yeah, some people, the, the implication is that some people flew planes into a tower and knocked them down, right? And now, and it's, it's personally my fault because they happen to be of the same religion, right? That, it is ridiculous when you break it down like that. So you can't just say that today someone is looking at me strange, that I am going to try to make myself look pleasant. You have to say, this person is looking at me strange. I am not comfortable with it. I am going to go talk to them and ask them why. 
Right. And if you do that, if you come up into my face and ask me, why am I looking at you? I tell you, get your shit together because you're, you're insecure about yourself. I can look at anybody I fucking feel like looking at, excuse me, right? That's, that's the American way, right? I don't, you, what, I can't stare at you. I can't look at you. You're not allowed to be looked at. If I look at you, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm looking at you because you feel insecure about your religion. Uh, see, there's all that going on. I'm just playing devil's advocate because it goes on. Blacks think whites are looking at them. Whites think blacks are looking at them, you know, funny. And, oh, you're looking at me because I'm a black man. You, oh, you're looking at me because I'm white and I'm wearing a mega, mega, mega hat. Right? right? So there's all that, that, that racism is going on, right? Is she, is she evolved in her thinking, Ilhan Omar? Is she an evolved cultural culturalist in America that she understands who she is and where she's from? Absolutely not. She's a, she's a, she's a, 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 a amateur in terms of that stuff. But does she have a right? She was voted by the people of Minnesota. They put her up there and now you got to listen to her, right? So I don't see any foul there. I, I think she, her, was there, a, the, the big point is, was there a disrespect for 9-11? Not really. She's saying that some people did something, right? And she's not, she's not talking about terrorism. She's talking about the effects of the terrorist acts on the populace. So what else did she say? She said some other stupid stuff. Listen to this. Yeah, you know, hospital. He's an expert. <laughs> when I was in college, I took uh, a terrorism class. Every time the, the, the professor said Al-Qaeda, he sort of like his shoulders yeah. went up and, you know. Yeah, he's in command like, here. Al-Qaeda, you know, hospital. He's an expert. <laughs> You don't say America with an yeah. intensity. You yeah. don't say England with yeah. an intensity. You yeah. know, you don't, you don't say um, the army with an intensity. Care was founded. All right, so that's the other stupid statement that the people are running with, right? Now, she's just pointing out being a, a Muslim, right, in a classroom on terrorism with what appears to be a white American... Uh, uh, instructor, and he he flexes and he says Al Qaeda. Right? Right? That's all. That's all they're pointing out is that is that uh, is you is the United States any less a terrorist nation than than um, than than uh, Al Qaeda? Of course not. No, the, the the United States funds it. They're funding the whole thing. Right? So who's the greater terrorist? That's that's a uh, that's that's free speech, no crime. So. So what did Donald Trump do? Donald Trump, sitting in the White House, the great mind of Donald Trump, the, the, he's going to talk to his populace. He pulls out his Twitter, right? And he, he, he talks to his friends and he's telling them and he gets his, he gets his movie, me, movie people together and says, make a video, make a hit piece, make a hit piece. Ilhan Omar, she's a terrorist, right? And what do they do? This is what Trump puts out. Care was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something. So you have no idea right, right I'll now? I'll have another one. Another plane just hit. <gasps> some people did something? Oh my goodness. There is smoke pouring out of the Pentagon. Some people did something? It just flew straight into it. I realize I just played that without you seeing it. <laughs> I'm not going to edit it. I'll just play it for you. Here you go. Sorry about that. Care was founded so after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something. So you have no idea right, right I'll now? I'll have another one. Another plane just hit. <gasps> some people did something. Oh, my goodness. There is smoke pouring out of the Pentagon. Some people did something. It just flew straight into it.
So 10 million, one, 10.1 million views. Uh, Donald J. Trump, huge following. 10.1 million people watch that. 10 million people in America. Right? That's, that's probably his base at this point. Right? He's losing. He's got 25 or whatever, man. But so, so here's Trump putting this shit out, right? And what did he run with? He ran with the soundbite, some people did something and immediately go to, to, to push the button of 9-11, right? Push the pain and the misery that the people of New York suffered. I saw all those scenes close up. I was standing four blocks away when the building, the first one fell down. I was a, a quarter of a mile away when the two planes flew over my house, allegedly flew over my house, but whatever. That's not the issue. The, the issue is Trump is framing Ilhan Omar as a 9-11 sympathizer. Now, we heard what she said. Is it true? Is Shouldn't we, as the leader of a free nation, feel sympathetic to the immigrant experience? I think so. Trump obviously doesn't. Uh, Trump thinks, smear them. Some people did something. So is Trump any better? I guess that's the, that's the point of it, right? We're going to play some more. We're going to keep going, right? So what was the, first of all, what was the ramification of this? Omar says, more death threats coming since Trump pushed video. Right? So she's getting death threats for doing this. Ilhan Omar says she faces increasing death threats since President Donald Trump spread around a video that, that purports to show her being dismissive of the 2001 terrorist attacks. This is endangering lives, she said, accusing Trump of fomenting right-wing extreme extremism. It has to stop. Uh, so she took the bait, and uh, why? Because she's being, she's being, she's getting death threats, right? So, what, what is the, what is the real? She said, Trump said, they're they're jumping on the term. Some people did something. Who were those some people? Ah, let's find out. Saudi Arabia, right? Saudi Arabia are the some people. And what did they do? Some people, Al Qaeda, uh, uh, Al Qaeda, uh, the what's the other one? The fucking um, ISIS, Al Qaeda, right? Did something. Al Qaeda did something. Some people did something. Al Qaeda, and and uh, some people did something. Knocked down the building. So the people are Al Qaeda, and what they did was they knocked down the buildings. Right? Is that what's going on? All right. All right so let's listen to this. Tulsi Gabbard, the good. Congresswoman, the awake congresswoman from Hawaii running for president. President Trump's recent approval for U.S. companies to sell nuclear technology to Saudi Arabia is both mind-blowing and inexplicable. Saudi Arabia is the world's primary exporter of jihadist ideology, Wahhabi Salafist ideology. I'm sorry. That is... President Trump's recent approval for U.S. companies to sell nuclear technology to Saudi Arabia is both mind-blowing and inexplicable. Saudi Arabia is the world's primary exporter of jihadist ideology, Wahhabi Salafist ideology, that is the motivation and inspiration for terrorist groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda, groups that the Saudis both directly and indirectly support. So President Trump needs to answer this question. How does it serve our interests to help Saudi Arabia develop nuclear weapons? How does it serve our country's interests to help Saudi Arabia develop nuclear weapons? It doesn't. So Saudi Arabia su sponsors terrorism, right? The Saudis, are it's un un undeniable, 15 of the 19 passengers alleged uh, the hijackers uh, in 9-11 were from Saudi Arabia. They were from Qatar. They were from... They were all of the United Emirates, right? They were all they were all Arabs from this central place, right? From they're Al Qaeda. They claimed it. Al Qaeda claimed it, right? And and Trump supports it. Trump's giving them nuclear bombs. Saudi Arabia funds ISIS and Al Qaeda. Right now in 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 uh the country right below fucking Saudi Arabia. I forgot already. <laughs> but they they they're the, the one of the the number one sponsors of um of terrorism, right? Saudi Arabia. How does Trump feel about that? Yeah, and let's play some video, if we could, please, of a, a pretty stunning moment 
Uh, Jim was talking about the publicity of this and, and how much we're seeing, but do you see that? Uh, look, Mr. Material, Mr. Material, that's the king of Saudi Arabia, and Trump taking his, taking his gold chain. I'll take a gold chain. Fuck it, man. Hey, man, you're giving me a gold chain? I'll take a gold chain because I'm Mr. Material. It matches my decor at the hotel. That, uh, that chain around the, the gold necklace around uh, ah, big man. Uh, President Trump's uh, neck there. Well, Saudi King Salman presented that to the president. It's a gold medal. The collar of Abdulaziz Al Saud is what it's called. And it's the nation's highest honor. Um, I, I want to ask you, Anushay, what do you make of wh what is the symbolism there? What is what is the intention uh, as he he gives him that honor? Because already what we are seeing, the grandeur of this welcome is so different from what we've seen with past presidents. Well, I think that Donald Trump It's not grander. Obama was the same. Obama bent down to the king and took the gold chain. Just stop lying, CNN. Just tell the truth. All right? Trump is doing what every other American president has done with Saudi Arabia. There's no difference. There is. He's doing the same exact thing as, as Obama did. Trump has always kind of taken a softer stance when it's come to Saudi Arabia. You know, they were left off of his famous Muslim ban list and also his uh, executive order barring Muslim immigrants from the U.S. Those are two good points. He did. The, what she just said is very true, too. And, you know, despite... Saudi Arabia being one of the greatest exporters of Islamic uh, radical of radical Islam, Donald Trump has always taken a softer stance uh, on them. And let's not forget, there's a hundred and nine billion dollar arms deal, also uh, on the table that he has to seal with the Saudis. And you know, it's really interesting. And he he did seal that. This is old. He sealed that deal, that hundred billion dollar deal, just like uh, Hillary Clinton at the. That the um, the secretary, uh, the then Secretary of State, sealed the eighty billion dollar deal with Saudi Arabia. But Trump recently stepped it up for nuclear weapons. So some people, these guys, the Saudis, where you see Trump doing a little curtsy, a little girly curtsy, taking his gold chain and get taking an award when he should be confronting the the uh, the enemy, like Tulsi Gabbard. That's a leader. Tulsi Gabbard's a leader. This guy's a phony. Uh, so, so there's the evidence. Right? What else is Trump doing? I mean, Trump is on. He's, he's circling the. He's circling the drain, going down. Just, just to add to it, and then uh, one, one other thing. No law kicks the 18, 180 million Americans off the plan, off their plans to accept is acceptable. While Democrats abandon Obamacare for more socialism, President Trump is working on real solutions to provide Americans with options, affordable and quality care they deserve. That's the White House putting, putting this propaganda out. We oppose efforts from Democrats to raid Medicare to fund socialism. It just doesn't even make sense. What, right? So, so here's the, just a, an extension of the lie. Right? Liar! Here's some of the comments. Liar! You have no plan. You say you'll have it after the election. What a joke! Right? That, it is a joke. right? See, people see it. You're a lying asshat. <laughs> <laughs> let's not point fingers at who is abandoning, right? So on and on and on. Right? So what is Trump talking about? Trump is trying to say 180 million people um, will lose their health care. No, we already, it's a lie. The, you're, you're replacing Medicare for all with the current system. Hit the Republicans' ideas, right? So when once you remove Obamacare, everybody is covered on the Medicare. At, once you remove Obamacare, everybody is will be covered on the Bernie care. Uh, everybody will be covered under under this uh, universal care with no cost, no cost to the participant. So it's a lie, right? So he's just lying. I just wanted to put that up there because it's ongoing lie. I always blame the, the, the S word. It's socialism. Anything for the people is socialism. Anything that benefits the oligarchy, the big pharma and such is, is uh is uh, that's that's the American way. That's the way it's supposed to go. Man. So, so what do we have? Who won the argument? Right, the the Trump, the president of the United States, attacking Ilhan Omar for comments, putting out a radical, a very radical video. Uh, in my view, a video that puts take takes sound bites of what someone said in a community and immigrant. Talking to immigrants with the 
with the immigrant experience on her tongue, in her heart, explaining that and, and having that conversation with an immigrant community, Trump spins it to say some people did something, right? When he knows who the some people are and he knows what they did and what does he do? He takes a gold chain and, pa- and, and, and does a curtsy to the king for, for material gain, sells them bombs, sells them nuclear technology, and the good congresswoman from, from Minnesota stands up and says, raise hell and fight back. Who do you think is right? Marcus Conti reporting.